In the city of Los Angeles, a bunch of police officers are in the middle of a violent gunfight against four robbers who are holding up a bank in Lincoln Heights, while two of the robbers are inside keeping an eye on the hostages. The other two are fighting the cops with automatic rifles and full body armor, which is allowing them to overpower the police in their puny pistols. Thankfully, a SWAT unit soon arrives officers, Jim and Brian rappel down from the helicopter with two other men to land on the roof of the bank, where they tunnel their way down to the storeroom and find a safe way to the lobby by using a special spying camera. While a few SWAT snipers take a spot on the roof of a building across the street, a third team approaches from the ground. At that moment one of the robbers outside tries to escape in a getaway car, but a sniper quickly takes him out with one shot. The other robber continues to fight the cops, however the ground unit soon reaches him and takes him down. Two the two robbers inside start to panic, and the ground unit sends a secure phone for a SWAT negotiator to try to arrange the release of hostages, while the negotiator deals with the robbers. Lieutenant Velasquez calls his team inside the bank to ask them to wait. But Brian ignores the order, he drops into the storeroom, and while Jim has no choice but to follow him, Brian sneaks into the back of the main lobby to get in a good position to shoot down the robbers. Velasquez keeps calling him. But all the calls are ignored, getting more nervous by the second one of the robbers grabs a woman and aims his gun ready to kill her. Seeing this, Brian shoots the robber through the woman's shoulder, killing the guy but also wounding the woman in the process. Jim takes out the last robber, finally putting an end to this afterward. Jim checks on the woman and calls for an ambulance. And when Brian wonders if the woman will be okay, Jim snaps not happy about what Brian did later at the precinct. Captain Fuller is furious at Jim and Brian for disobeying orders, especially since the wounded woman will sue them for negligence. Fuller fires them from the SWAT division but Velasquez cuts in and asks him to at least keep them on the team so they can eventually get a chance to get their jobs back. Fuller agrees and relegates them to cage duty, a degrading position involving the maintenance and distribution of weapons and accessories to other officers. Brian is insulted and, 